Welcome to this 9-9 portal reading. Take a deep breath. And exhale. This is all about the September 9th portal. We have three options today. Option one, the heart of the sky. Option two, thunder. And option three, water. Take a deep breath. And exhale. Timestamps will be in the description box. Pause the video now to choose your pile. See you there. Welcome, pile one. If you chose the heart of sky, this is your 9-9 portal reading. The number 24 could be relevant to you as well as the number six. Um, I'm actually gonna read this one from the book. Okay, so it says, the heart of sky is the love force that made all creation possible. The love force that made all creation possible. So through this portal, I do feel you're tapping into this energy of love connected to creation. You're tapping into the energy of the creation of the universe. The same force is present when you create with originality. So through this portal, I feel this pile, you guys who chose this pile, you're going to feel especially creative and original. Inspired ideas to expression, formless to form. So this... And it's so interesting how this is Virgo energy. So it's like you are bringing um, these ideas, this energy, the, these concepts from the higher realms and you're making them tangible and physical, which is earth energy, which is Virgo earth energy. So you're grounding manifestations. You are bringing physical things to life from the higher realms. And the energy of love is what's behind this, meaning you're being driven by the highest frequency of all, which is love. And whatever you're going to create is something really, really beautiful. And it's coming from the invisible world, but you're going to make it visible. It's like through this portal, you're becoming a, a channel of creation, but it's creating something physical and tangible with your 3D senses, touch, smell, vision, like all these physical things. And it's like, it's like, it's an act of love. It's, um, it's an act of service, which is very Virgo-like service. It's not for you. It is for others as well. Pisces. Wow. Virgo Pisces axis. I wonder when the full moon in Pisces will be, but I do believe that it could be that it's overlapping. It's overlapping with this 9-9 portal. I'm just going to check when the full moon in Pisces is going to be because that is Virgo season. Um, let me see. I'm just going to check here. Um, full moon Pisces. Um... 2023. Let me see what date it's going to be. August 30th. 30th. So it has already happened, but it's somehow connected to this portal. So, and we have Uranus, which is the unexpected. It surprises. It is epiphanies epiphanies around what it is that you can create, brainstorming and surprises, a breakthrough as well, a spiritual breakthrough, 
your dreams showing you something. You're, I, I'm seeing a lot of energy around dreams here with the twelfth house. Your dreams, like bringing you shocking, unexpected, surprising information, and rerouting you um, toward a path of creating something, bringing it from the untangible to the tangible, from the formless world to the physical world the spirit world to the 3d material world that pisces 12th house energy spiritual energy whatever you can imagine you can create you can turn it into physical form the number 24 could be relevant as well as the number six six is sixth house energy so there's definitely the pisces virgo axis which is also one that is very spiritual compassionate but very grounded so something unexpected here you're also getting an opportunity to rest and rejuvenate and while you are resting rejuvenating or meditating i'm seeing strong energy around meditation here something will come up through visions or dreams while you're meditating while you are resting while you're sleeping or meditating there's you're getting access to dreams and we have the word rejuvenation here i do feel whatever you're creating may be virgo energy is a lot around beauty and health so it could be something to do with health and rejuvenation that you're getting some kind of epiphany on what the secret the true secret to rejuvenation is and rest has something to do with this so whatever you're creating, it could be around rejuvenation, connected to rest, and it could be this like epiphany that you have for a physical product maybe, or something. This is, seems very specific, but I'm sure I'm going to get more specifics for others of you, but we have the owl, so this is wisdom, and we have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm seeing crown chakra here for some reason, like... Your wisdom is coming from the higher realms through this portal. You're gaining some form of wisdom, knowledge, otherworldly knowledge, ethereal knowledge from the higher realms. Um, the number 19 could be relevant as well as the number 1 as well. But I'm seeing higher wisdom, spiritual wisdom coming through this portal for you. The five of earth, this wisdom could be connected to showing you why you may have been feeling um, left out by the universe and how um, you're working with the energy of the universe and why you've been missing out when it comes to finances in life or why your finances. So I'm seeing you gaining clarity and wisdom around practical stuff and why certain parts of your life may not be in order why you're experiencing financial difficulties there will be a light shed on how you can heal that situation there's going to be an epiphany around finances there could also be this is going to be a sudden epiphany on why you've been struggling financially if that has been the case Yes, through research, I do see you could be researching something and all of a sudden you come across information that shows you why you've been experiencing lack in your life and it could be connected to a lack mindset and you're going to gain clarity on this. So meditation is definitely highly advised through this 99 portal. Seven of air, seven of swords, you're going to be shown and you're going to gain clarity on how you've been sabotaging your ability to make money or to be healthy or to or to create something. You're going to see how something to do with how your thinking has been affecting your ability to make things happen in your life. So the universe will be communicating with you. I'm seeing a lot of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy and how showing you how your mind has been your own worst enemy how thinking too much and not putting enough action has been slowing things down for you how um, a negative self-talk has been 
creating resistance to the abundance that has always been meant for you. So you're getting a, a higher clarity on all these things in wisdom here. The tower, yeah, and, and the old way of thinking is crumbling down because it's not a solid foundation. So that is coming down for you. The self-sabotaging ways, the overthinking, the anxiety connected to maybe obsessive thinking and, and sabota self-sabotaging thoughts, that, that will all be laid to rest here. That's ending. There's a huge tower crumbling and that's Uranus and Mars energy that old way of thinking that has been keeping you stuck in lack is ending. So this is a really good tower moment for you. You could have Scorpio in your chart, the number 16 and the number 7 could be relevant. We have 7 twice here. So uh, Master no Angel number 77. Something about your spiritual path is being illuminated on how your mind can only take you so far, logic can only take you so far, and it's time to also rely on your heart that is connected to your intuition. Because your mind and overdrive is really only holding you back and creating resistance to the flow that should naturally be happening when it comes to your abundance. So you guys got kunzite. So there's a sense of peace and uh, taking it easy and allowing yourself to relax that will magnetize more toward you rather than trying so hard to think up solutions. So really relaxing and nurturing yourself and um, sitting with your feelings and with your emotions is going to be a lot more productive than thinking up scenarios or situations or solutions and that's only going to create more resistance. So we have fem love, femininity, and transition. It's like this through this portal you're transitioning into an energy of self-love and the feminine energy of manifesting by changing your thoughts and reprogramming your mind in a way that you're thinking more effectively and less in a less sabotaging way. And it says, as it breaks down barriers surrounding the heart, Kunzai offers unconditional love to heal lingering wounds. So, so those barriers that, that you have set up around your heart will be broken down. And that is that tower there. Um, tapping you more into the energy of unconditional love, which is this Pisces energy here, um, to heal any wounds that are there that have been keeping you from being vulnerable and opening your heart up to the abundance that is meant for you, helping you feel safe while being vulnerable. So there's a sense of you feeling safer in the face of vulnerability. And this will allow you to express your love authentically and expansively. And because of that, you're opening these gateways to create something from a place of love rather than a place of ego or fear. A highly vibrational stone, Kunzite's protection can be used as an energetic shield that surrounds your aura and protects it against emotional vampires and negative influences. So through this portal, you will be your aura will be surrounded by an energetic shield that will protect you against emotional vampires and negative influences. So if that's what closed up your heart in the past, you're learning about it, you're gaining clarity about it, you're seeing that that's what kept you in lack mindset, but you don't have to go back there just because it happened to you doesn't mean it's going to happen again. You're going to feel protected here. The stone aids in feminine rites of passage from puberty to becoming a mother. Some of you will become a mother through this portal. Supports loving your body no matter what phase of life you're in. So through this portal, you're also learning to love your body. Um, some of you could have Taurus, Leo, or Scorpio in your chart, more specifically Venus or Pluto in Taurus, Leo, or Scorpio. But it, it of course, doesn't have to be. You have the moon feeling. So you're going to feel very quite emotional through this portal, um, tapping more into your feelings and less into your thoughts, connecting more to your heart and your intuition and less to your ego and your fears. Um, you're going to realize a lot about what has been running you subconsciously, the family conditioning, your habits, your lineage, where you've come from, your past when you were a child, your mother, um, possible mother wounds, your moods and how your emotions have been affected and have been affecting your ability to 
create more abundance in your life. And this is going to shift you from this energy of lack into the energy of abundance. Because a lot will be shed upon what your subconscious triggers and fears and pain and trauma have been into transmuting this into healing um, your energy here. And this is a process that, yes, it's taking time with the time master here, but the number 57 is indicative of the three of swords. So a lot is being shed and shown to you about what has wounded you and what has made you suffer. And a lot of that has been unconscious. You didn't even know that that really worked on you in a way that it closed you up. Maybe you think you have an open heart and maybe you think you are vulnerable, but maybe this pain connected to your childhood or motherhood or a mother or something that happened when you were a child has affected you, was really pain inflicted on you. And you're going to realize how this has been holding you back and keeping you um, from really experiencing gratification in your life. Um, And I do feel through this portal, time will accelerate. Things will take less time. So if things have been really slow up until now, the fact that you're awakening to all these realizations, things are going to start uh, picking up pace for you and, and uh, time is going to accelerate. Things are going to happen a lot faster and accelerate for you. So that was your reading, pile number one. Um, um, thank you so much for watching. And bless you all. See you sometime soon. Bye. Till next time. Welcome, Pile 2. If you chose Thunder, welcome to your 9-9 portal reading and how this portal is affecting you, what it means for you, etc., etc. So you chose Thunder. The number 56 could be relevant. The number 11 could be relevant. November, uh, possibly Scorpio energy as well as possibly Sagittarius. Thunder. Okay, I'm seeing... Um, what are these called? What is this animal called here? The bull? It's not a bull. It's an ox. I don't know what this is called. Let me know. Um, I'm seeing something about Arizona. Sedona. Um, arid places like that. Um, I'm also seeing Native American for some reason. Thunder. So, okay. So you could experience thunder on September 9th, the 99 portal, or around this portal. Um, but, okay, so there's a stampede, like all these animals running and creating like a thunder-like effect. Or running away from thunder. Chaos. Forces of nature. The full moon. Okay, let's get the Astro Dice because I want more clarity here. I'm not getting much, so it may feel chaotic. You may feel quite chaotic. Neptune, confused. It, it, things may sound a certain way, but then it's something else. Sagittarius, expansion, spiritual expansion. But it's confusing. Dreams also. And the seven. Spiritual path and seventh house energy. But also introversion, introspection. Going within, studying, researching. G expanding your knowledge. Um, I, I just see you looking for information and feeling the more you find, the more confused you are. Through this portal. Why, though? Why? The garden and the gate. It's like you don't know whether you should stay or go. Whether you should be alarmed or whether things, you know, it'll be okay. Well, it will be okay. Because I don't... I make a point not pre pre predicting anything um, tragic. Okay, that's not what I'm seeing here. But I see like an inner inner chaos and not knowing whether it's safe to go or to stay. The number 30 could be relevant. The number 3 could be relevant. 
it's like okay I know what it's like here but I don't know what it's like out there I'm not I don't have enough clarity to see what's out there but I know exactly what goes on in here but I'm also curious about what goes on outside there's a sense of wanting adventure but wondering if that will be chaotic if you should stay in the comfort of what you know but there's a part of you that's wondering and it's a restless energy I'm seeing here because yeah the dragonfly it's like you've expanded spiritually in a way and transformed that you need more in your reality you you just need more and you're not getting it where you are so there's a restlessness and there's a need for expansion maybe long distance travel um but there could be a relationship that's holding you back in a sense um we have gemini libra aquarius energy here especially gemini with the third house and Libra with the seventh house, Sagittarius, and also Pisces. The moon, yeah, it's it's almost like it's it's like you're feeling quite unsettled it, it, within yourself, in your subconscious, is being rattled. Your emotions are being riled up through this portal, and you're tapping. It's like a deep dive into your subconscious, but you're quite confused about what you're seeing there. But it's like you're feeling restless again. I'm just seeing restlessness. The number 18 and the number 9 could be relevant to you. Cancerian energy, Pisces energy coming through. A lot of confusion, but also dreams. Um, you could be dreaming about a stampede or dreaming about thunder. It's because you're feeling unsettled. I'm just seeing, yeah, because it's like something big is about to occur for you. A big decision, a big life change a second chance at something, um, a judgment call, and you it's, it's unsettling because you want to make the right decision and you're not quite sure if you stay or if you go, it, what happens if you go, if it will be chaotic. Again, the number 20 and the number 2, you don't have enough clarity, but it, you know that there's something out there that is bigger than yourself, that is healing, that is something you want. So you definitely... Your wish fulfilled would be some sense of adventure here. You could have Aquarius in your chart, the number 17, the number 8 could be relevant. There's something that is a deep wish that you have to expand your knowledge or to travel or to go somewhere or to do something different, to move out of your comfort zone. That would be very healing in itself. But it's almost like there's a sense of how will this affect me almost but you want to take this leap of faith. You want to. And I do feel this this portal, through this portal, you're taking some kind of leap of faith. You're doing it with fear, but doing it anyway. And you're following your heart with the Queen of Water here. Definitely Queen of Cups. And you could have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio in your chart or Aries. But it's like you're taking the leap of faith. You're, you're going after your dreams and you're following your heart. This portal is really pushing you to do that because the way you've transformed is like you cannot go back to what you knew. That's the energy I'm getting here. We have Sapphire. You guys got Sapphire. And it says royalty, wisdom, and knowledge. You could have your moon or Saturn in Virgo, Libra, or Sagittarius. Sapphire, royalty, wisdom, and knowledge. You're gaining knowledge through this portal of the need for adventure and taking a leap of faith you're definitely gaining a lot of spiritual knowledge knowledge into your subconscious knowledge of self and what's been running you subconsciously also knowledge of what triggers your emotions and what needs healing so you're gaining perspective into what needs healing but it's still a little bit foggy Fairness rules the kingdom when Sapphire wears the crown. Sapphire wields its power through kindness and wise, wise judgment. Wise judgment call. You're making a wise judgment call through this 99 portal. Bringing good luck and fortune to those who wear it. You're going to make the right decision is what I'm seeing here. A gem with a regal presence throughout history. Sapphire is considered to be sacred representing celestial hope and faith known as the stone of wisdom. Wisdom is by your side, by the way, and you're going to make the right decision. Follow your intuition even if you don't see physical proof. 
Sci-fi act activates the third eye and th third chakra is guiding you toward knowledge beyond the stratosphere. So yeah, it seems confusing, but you know exactly what to do, is what this is saying. Even though it may seem crazy or you're not getting physical proof. Yeah, just flow with, with what you see and what you know and things will harmonize. Um, wherever you're going, if you take this leap of faith, it will go a lot smoother than you think. Just enjoy the ride. You are supported by the universe, okay? The smoky mirror, yeah, but it's like you, you're, you're not quite comfortable with following your intuition because uh, of something that you're hearing that is not aligned with something that is outside of you. I don't know if I'm making sense here, but it's almost like what you're seeing on the outside is conflicting with what you know on the inside, and they're telling you to follow your inner vision, your inner knowing, okay? The rest outside is smoke and mirrors, and what's going on outside is what's creating the confusion. Follow your intuition. You're making the right judgment call if you follow your heart, your intuition, your feeling, okay? Don't follow the crowd. They're going backwards. Okay, don't follow that stampede. They're going backwards. They're moving in fear. They're allowing fear to move them. Don't allow fear to move you. You're moving forward with your intuition, okay? So that was your message, pile number two. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Bless you. See you sometime soon. Bye. Till next time. Welcome, Pile 3. This is your 9-9 portal reading. If you chose water, and this card has the number 61. So it's going to be a spiritual journey for you. 6 plus 1 is a 7. And it's going to be an emotional journey through this 9-9 portal. There could be some crying, some emotions coming up. These emotions are shedding light on something that you need to be looking at. Okay, if you're feeling emotional about something, it's something you need to sit with and observe, okay? Rather than uh, try to numb it out, try to feel through it, okay? Um, water also symbolizes purification, so you're being purified through the 9-9 portal. And purification is actually this Virgo energy, okay? A lot of healing um, that will allow for regeneration and a birth and a revival and a cleansing, okay, of your soul so that you can evolve and shift into your higher self, into the new self that you're meant to be. Um, the more you cry, the more you leave behind what is no longer um, allowing you to grow, okay? And there's a new life after this, what seems like a deluge of tears, really. Watch your emotions and also understand that whatever you're feeling through this portal is temporary, okay? Allow that sadness to move through you and cry it out. Don't be shy to cry. Crying is going to be very, very healing. Because that crying is cleansing out any unwanted energy and sticky feelings. You know how if you are dehydrated, your organs start to stick together, your skin starts to glue to your muscles. So if you want to feel unstuck, drinking water and crying is um, definitely a way to go through this 9-9 portal. I'm going to drink some water now. Advice here is to hydrate through this 9-9 portal. Okay. Um, Astrodice. Okay. We have two second house, but also partnerships. All right. Money, self-worth, values, material values, and we have Saturn. Okay. All right. Okay. And we have Leo. Right. 5th house, business, Saturn, 10th house, business, 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 business owners, business owners, business, doing business, making money, express yourself to make money, there will be restraints around money to teach you lessons, 
through this 9-9 portal. 9-9, we have Virgo energy, 6th house energy, get organized about your daily life. Productive routines need to be set in place, more discipline and more structure to get to the money and to also feel worthier. Okay. Also, when it comes to coming up with creative solutions in business, be more playful. Don't be so serious. When it comes to organizing yourself, really be disciplined and serious about it, okay? Angel of Strength. Holding back. Strength is needed. Leo energy here. Someone could definitely have Leo. Through this portal, you're going to realize how strong you've been because you're going to, the more you cry, the more you know you've been strong. But there's a change here. The number 50 and the number 5 could be relevant. There's change here. Um, there's a sense of empowerment through discipline and strategizing. There's something about your solar plexus that's going to be healing or there is a need to heal the solar plexus through energy work, energy healing. You can also, there are some toning exercises for your back, for your upper body and your core like weights or running, walking, sitting up straight, correcting your posture is necessary here. Strength when it comes to your energetic and physical backbone, okay? Is needed right now. Because you're going to need, there's something about taking action from the heart space here through this portal, but in a way that is disciplined and structured and strategic. Golden egg, okay. So, through this portal, I do feel you're unlocking some kind of secret when it comes to attaining wealth and stability. And it is connected to your self-confidence and your core and your strength. Um, a golden opportunity will come through this 9-9 portal. An opportunity to set a foundation that is materially strong, but it will take discipline, it will take method, it will take being organized as well. Okay? Um, method, being methodical. But there's also a message at the center of your heart. There's some kind of unstruck cord within you that needs to be accessed and it can only be accessed through a harmonizing between your emotions and your strength and courage. Having the courage to follow your heart because there's something precious there that's going to lead you toward abundance. Okay, retreat from the noise and ask yourself what it is that you're truly connected to from your heart. And that will be your guide. Chariot. Something about a car or moving forward. It could be road travel. Attaining... Um, your dreams here, going after, knowing what it is you want and going after it, but in a way that is structured and from a place of self-confidence and courage, move toward, take action from the heart space again, because it will lead you to success as long as you do it in a way that is structured but also light and playful. So there's a, a need for a balance between being serious and structured, but also being lighthearted and playful. Take the heaviness out. The magician, and that's how you're going to manifest. There's a specific balance in the way you're manifesting. You have what it takes, okay? You have what it takes. 
you have the resources, you have the knowledge, you have the skills, you have the talent. So it's time to embrace this new beginning and go after what you want. Manifest and take those practical steps. You could have Gemini in your chart or Virgo because the sun is shining on you and there will be growth. But you need to keep a positive mindset when manifesting. You need to manifest positively in the present moment. Your affirmations need to be positive and in the present tense. You will receive rewards for your courage. You, the universe favors the courageous, something like that. The universe favors the brave, exactly. Slow and steady wins the race. Whatever small steps you think you're taking are still steps in the right direction. And they're leading you to abundance and stability. You will be successful and victorious if you take action from your heart space, slow and steady. It doesn't have to be big steps, okay? Sulfur, volcanic, prog progress, and inventive. You are going to make progress. Bottled up emotions. Something about bottled up emotions must come out because they could be manifesting as skin conditions, fevers, or emotional outbursts. So you may want to pay attention to that. And the more you can express your emotions in healthy ways, the more you can rid yourself of stress-related illness, and the more you can feel positive and move in a positive direction in life. Sulfur has a negative electrical charge, allowing it to absorb toxicity and destruction from your surroundings. So it seems like toxicity will be absorbed and, and in replacing destruction will be um, more positivity and success in your life. You're going to realize what has been destroying your ability to succeed. Because your shadows will be highlighted in order for you to be able to clear that path for renewal and heal and release Awareness will be opened up for you and the triggers that cause anything that's been holding you back. You're becoming conscious of this and because of this you're going to be able to move forward. And it has something to do with letting go of fear and ego and stepping into a more positive outlook on life. And focusing on your strengths and the positives rather than your shortcomings and the negatives. Leo Sun again, so someone definitely could have Leo here. But there's something about, there's so much yellow and strengthen, strengthening your core here that is needed. Self-confidence. And how do you gain self-confidence? By focusing on your strengths, focusing on what can go right and what will go right. And being disciplined with that daily and putting into effect all these positive, um, effective new methods that are healthy, a healthy mindset being the first one. And with the, the healthy mindset, everything else can prosper. You may also need to spend some time in the sun. We have the hummingbird, the number 26 could be relevant, the number 8. 26 is a number of, of a screen stage or celebrity energy. So for those of you who are wanting that, I do see success there. The sun will be shining on you and you will be shining in that way. Uh, especially if you're using your voice, okay? Communicating with your voice is going to be very successful. Whether it's singing, speaking, whatever it is. It is also about speaking your mind. And saying yes to a new adventure as well. I'm going to read this passage from the book here. And it says, Hummingbird invites you to embark on your epic quest. Bypass the, do the dung pile of old pain and hurts. Head for the flowers. So let go of the fears connected to whatever happened to you that was negative in the past. 
head for the flowers, which is representing what is all the positive things waiting for you in the future. And learn to trust the calling you hear ever so softly. It's like you've been called to follow your heart, but you've been shy to do so because these fears have been holding you back. But I feel through this portal, something is changing within you that is going to allow you to move forward. And I do see a, a, the biggest thing I'm seeing here is you raising your vibration. Once you do that, you normally don't go back to being in low vibration and a lack mindset of connected to ego and fear. So this is beautiful pile three. It was a pleasure to read for you guys today. Bless you all. See you sometime soon. Bye. Till next time.